the ghost maker 30 by 40 cm rounds free electric diamonds shows the areas where you will place the electric diamonds by sprinkling it on her shoulders and also filling the area in her mouth where the smoke is coming out from so simply place your electric diamonds that you get free with this painting in those white areas to give it the sparkle of the spirit or the smoke by Tanya Shatsiva in 50 by 50 cm squares version 3 special treatment we start with version 1 periwinkle sprinkled in the background in the blue areas in the background and then we've got angel pink that we have sprinkled on the flower. And finally for version three, we've got electric diamonds sprinkled in the white areas of the flower just to give it an added glisten. I'll be framing Bess Houdini by Medusa the doll maker and this is actually a painting that we finished a long time ago we just haven't had a chance to frame it yet and it's because I've been having a difficult time finding a frame that is wide enough to fit the entire picture so another option to avoid having to cut off a portion of the painting is actually to have it wrap around your frame how exactly are we going to do this it's really simple so I'm gonna show you a video of how I will frame Beth Houdini. There she is, holding an hourglass of time. Isn't that gorgeous? We have electric diamonds for her jewelry and also 
a portion of that jewel on her chest that holds her sort of shawl together. And then we have gold crystals for the time. So I'll be framing this wherein it's going to wrap around the sides of a canvas. So here are the tools that you will need. So here's my canvas. I'm going to open this up. And on the back, so the back will look like this. So if you've got one of those gun staples, you can actually just staple this since you won't see the back side and it's ready to hang, right? So you just basically clip that and staple it and you're done. You don't even have to cut any other part of this since the canvas fits just perfectly around it. But because I don't have a gun staple, I'm going to simply glue it onto this painter's canvas. So what I'm going to do now is actually just um, keep it like this. I'm not going to cut this side anymore and I'll just keep it like this. to do is I go around in like a spiral like this what Reggie's doing right now up to the point where I reach the middle that way you can make sure that you cover at least um, about an inch every inch you have glue so when you finally lay the canvas on top you've got enough stickiness, enough adhesive to keep the canvas on your frame. Since we glued the other part. So now after you do that spiral, what I do is I do a zigzag and then another zigzag this way. This way, I, I'm covering a lot of the area. And now, we lay it flat. You can flip it over so that you can press down even further and make sure that it is laying flat on your canvas and that the adhesive really sticks and binds together. You can use like a, a baker's rolling pin to ensure that this is the case too. So now that we've stuck that part, now we'll need to glue the sides onto the frame, which is the easy part actually. So now we apply more glue. I do the zigzag again and then the zigzag the other direction.
And of course we do this end as well. Okay, now that you have enough glue, you simply wrap it around. Focusing on the sides first, like so, and then pulling tight onto the white part of the canvas. Press down, make sure that it's tight, and we'll have to let that dry while we work on the other side. And we press down on the front side. And there you have it. Super easy framing with the sides of the canvas wrapped around your painter's canvas. That way you don't actually cut off anything else except for the top part and the bottom part, which obviously is just the excess of the picture. As you can see, I still have the codes on the back, which can be useful, especially if you want it for reference so you don't have to snip off this part if you just have it folded over onto your painter's canvas and it gives it that full feel because you don't have the picture just in the front, you have it on the sides as well. So when this is hanging up on the wall, it looks like it's really wrapping around the frame, which I think gives it a different kind of feel from the typical way that we usually frame our diamond paintings. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed um, this tutorial. It was um, hopefully something that's easy for you to follow. If you have any questions, all you have to do is jot it down below. And please like, comment, subscribe, hit that thumbs up sign, and don't forget if you subscribe, hit that bell sign as well so that you don't miss another video notification from us. Thanks, till next time, bye!
by Leilani Joy all finished and with the special beads placed on her hands we have concentrated on all crystals except for one kind of pearls and that is periwinkle pearls that we have placed right here on the bottom the light blue the rest are crystals we've got sapphire royal Lime is also a pearl by the way, so we've got the periwinkle and lime as the sole pearls But for the crystals, we've also got labradorite, tree, gold, desert, auburn, raspberry, and ice 
So there are a lot more crystals on her hand that is blue-green as the colors here vary much more. So simply follow the matching color of your special beads and place them on the canvas. Some special beads may have two coats that match perfectly. Some may have only one. Some may have two to three coats that match perfectly. So think of this like a coloring book that you're given where you have just the lines, the outline, a guide, and then you've got your palette your crayons or your color pencils or your oil and it's up to you how you're going to color it. The guide is basically if it's a picture of a tree you know that trees usually have green leaves and the trunk is usually brown but how brown you will make it or how gradient you will make it is up to you. So apply the same principle when you conduct your special treatment on this particular painting. There is no particular need to follow a specific code, but go with the flow of how you see the colors and trust your gut and how you would like it to look and simply place the special beads on your canvas as you would wish on how you would like the result to be. Margaret Morales' is Yumi Special Treatment Version 1 starts with Morganite crystals sprinkled in the pink flowers around her hair. <laughs> Yumi 50 by 66 rounds by Margaret Morales version 2 special treatment. We now have electric diamonds sprinkled in all of the yellow areas. The moons, the stars, as well as the lanterns around her.
Shut Siva in squares, special treatment version three. We start off with periwinkle pearls that we have sprinkled on her blue hair. So these are the blue areas on the image. For version two, we've sprinkled snow pearls on the widest areas of her mask. So on her mask, some areas are a bit gray and some areas are white. So sprinkle the snow pearls on the widest areas on her mask and also sprinkle some in the background that represents the same code that you've chosen for the widest area. Finally, for version three, we've got ice crystals that we have placed on the gem of her ring. So this will give it an added bling and will give it a sort of real effect. Inner Fish by Tanya Shatsiva. Special treatment. Starts with electric diamonds for the bubble. So that is the semicircle that we see surrounding the goldfish. That is in electric diamonds together with some of the highlights in this painting, such as the portion of her lip on the upper lip, as well as on the corner of her mouth. So on the lightest areas, of the picture, sprinkle the electric diamonds that you get. For version two, we've got ice crystals that we have sprinkled in the blue background. So place them on the blue areas in the background. And finally, for version three, we've got auburn crystals that we have sprinkled on all of the orange areas. This includes the goldfish together with her lips. So sprinkle it in that area. You can choose to only have it on the goldfish or you can choose to have it only on her lips or as what we've done here where we have sprinkled it both on the goldfish and also on her lips. Once again for Inner Fish by Tanya Shatsiva. Version 3 special treatment we've got electric diamonds, ice crystals, and auburn crystals.
Nightmare de los Muertos by Medusa the Dollmaker, Special Treatment, version 3. We begin the special treatment with electric diamonds that have been placed on the outline of the characters. So we've got a white outline where we have sprinkled electric diamonds on. So that is for version 1. These are the electric diamonds over here. Just follow that white outline. And then for version two, we've got plum crystals that we have sprinkled on the purple background. And that is what we see over here. So simply place it in the areas that you'd like to add more sparkle, like what we've done over here. And then finally for version three, we've got aqua crystals that we have placed on all of the aqua colors so just match the color with aqua so these are a portion of the forehead of the skull as well as on her makeup and also her necklace and just match it with the aqua crystals and that is for version three once again for version three special treatment nightmare de los muertos by medusa the doll maker we've got electric diamonds plum crystals and aqua crystals. by Medusa the doll maker in 60 by 75 cm rounds, free crystals, plum and pink ribbon. This is an example of how you can use the free crystals that you get with this painting. Depending on the size of the canvas you have purchased, you will either get more for a bigger canvas or lesser beads for a smaller canvas. So for 60 by 75, this is how much you will be getting of the pink ribbon which we have sprinkled on her pink collar. The plum crystals have been used to highlight the purple areas of her horns. So the plum crystals for the purple areas of her horns and pink ribbon crystals for the pink collar. ongoing promo that will end soon it is part of the kit so for every mistress of evil diamond painting kit purchased it will come with free crystals and for this it will be for plum and pink ribbon Mistress of Evil by Medusa the Doll Maker in 60 by 75 cm rounds. Special treatment version 1 starts with black diamonds that we have sprinkled on the black areas of the picture. So that's mainly on the black horn as well as on her wings as well as her dress. Mistress of Evil in 60 by 70 cm round special treatment version 2 now adds magenta crystals that we have used for the earring that she has. So simply trace out that shape which could be a symbol on her horn or an earring and place it on that section. This is magenta crystals on this area right over here. And this is for version 2 of Special Treatment for Mistress of Evil. 
Mistress of Evil and 60 by 75 cm round special treatment version 3 now adds electric diamonds for Medusa the doll maker's signature. As you can see, this here looks just like a blob, but that's because I didn't actually stick them onto the canvas. This is just to give you a general idea of what it could look like with her signature in electric diamonds. So obviously you'll be following the lines of her signature with electric diamonds, replacing your regular beads with the special beads that you get for this version of special treatment. If you do not wish to do that, you can also simply sprinkle your electric diamonds in the background and this then will give it an overall glittering effect aside from the special beads that we've placed on Mistress of Evil herself. So you can place the electric diamonds in the background or do as what we've done over here and kind of used it for Medusa's signature. So once again for version 3 we've got magenta, black diamonds, and electric diamonds. And don't forget that this kit comes with free crystals, plum crystals, and also pink ribbon crystals. The Doors of Moria by John Shannon in 55 by 40 cm rounds special treatment version 1 starts with lightning diamonds that we have filled in for the diamond in the middle of the door this part over here as well as the circles that we see on top there are seven light circles so fill that in with lightning diamonds. The Doors of Moria by John Shannon, special treatment version 2, now adds prism pearls that we have sprinkled on the 
darkest areas on this painting. So this would be on the shadows behind the trees just to give it a mysterious forest sort of feel. So we've got the prison pearls sprinkled on these darkest areas, almost black or dark green. Sprinkle it in those areas around the trees. The Doors of Moria by John Shannon in 55 by 40 cm rounds. Special Treatment version 3 now adds a whole bunch of electric diamonds for the light that is coming through the door. So we've got basically all the other white areas that we have on the door that we did not fill in with lightning diamonds and we fill that in with electric diamonds. So you can choose to kind of spread them out a little bit more that way you have an even sort of outline for the door or as what I've done in this particular canvas where this area isn't as light as these areas and I simply followed what I saw on my canvas so simply place it on the lightest areas on your canvas that represents the door and this will give it that glistening effect like there is light coming through Five, four, three, two.